everybody, I'm Charlotte from Charlotte Harvey Hair, professional freelance hairdresser. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you about sulfates and professional and shop shampoo. So sulfate is a salt that forms when sulfuric acid reacts with another chemical. And sulfates are a combination of molecules that allow oils and water to be able to mix together. Sulfate is an ingredient within shampoos, all shampoos, and it's there to basically help open up the cuticle to get in and to uh, clean. Now you have two types of sulfates, so you have the good ones and the bad ones. So first of all, you have sodium lauryl sulfate. So I hope I said that right. Um, but basically that is the one that you find in your professional quality shampoos. Um, and it's it's basically, it's a good one, so it's going to help to not aggravate your scalp and it's going to keep the excess moisture within your hair and it doesn't cause a barrier. So the bad sulphate that you have, unfortunately ladies, it's in the shampoos that you get from the shops, the everyday ones that you're using on your hair at the moment. So it's called sodium lauryl sulphate. Sodium lauryl sulphate. Uh, this one is found in your everyday products. So, you know, you will find it in your toothpaste, your your cleaning detergent, um, your, your laundry detergent, so uh, your bath bombs, <laughs> things like that. So there are levels of like how mild and how strong they are. Cleaning products, it's up there, it's strong, okay, because you know, it's not coming into contact with skin. When it's in the shampoo and in toothpaste and stuff like that, obviously it's coming into contact with skin, so you have to be careful. But it's not, it's not like dangerous as such, as in it's, you know, it's not gonna cause massive damage. But it is safe to use because obviously it's been approved, um, but it's, it's still not good for your, your hair and your scalp. So a few things that I will tell you about is, when it comes into contact with your scalp, it's it can be quite aggravating. You can find that you get a dry scalp, um, it becomes quite cracked and um, it's not, it doesn't, it's quite itchy. Um, don't confuse this with a dry scalp or dandruff because it's not that. So these shampoos will remain on the hair follicle for like after, long after you've washed your hair um, and you'll get quite a build up. It will just build on top of each other. So that will then stop your hair from getting the moisture it needs. And when it doesn't get the moisture it needs, it becomes very dry and brittle. And that's when you are prone to breakage. So yeah, these products are, they're safe on the market, but doesn't mean they're any good for the hair. So you just need to be careful when using them. I told you about sulfates. Now let's look at your shop shampoos and conditioners versus your professional shampoos and conditioners so the consistency is a lot thicker you can tell the difference between these these are highly concentrated so these have obviously a different sulfate and these have the good sulfates in them so um these are highly concentrated they've got really great ingredients in them that are going to keep your hair nice and healthy so they are thicker and you only need a small pea-sized amount um water in any shampoo is the best ingredient so make sure you wet your hair down as much as possible then put a small amount in your hand rub it through and then bring it through your hair and then give your, your scalp a good scrub um, and that is that is how you use the shampoo and that is how your shampoo goes a long way so if you were to look at your shop shampoos and conditioners you'll find that they tend to be the consistency is very runny and it's not as thick um, you know, when you're putting that onto your hair, it's just weakened down. It's just, that is, that is why they make them a lot cheaper because they're, they're, the ingredients are cheaply sourced for people, for them to be more affordable. Um, but realistically, if you look at it, which I'm gonna go through in a minute, it's not that much more affordable. So I've now introduced a new system. I have introduced a refill system for my clients. So you probably would have already seen this, I've been posting about it, but basically these two bottles here, I retail at £28. Now, they last 
for about four months, depending on how often you're washing your hair, of course, but they last about four months. You would only really need to use these like three times a year. But what I've done is I want to be more eco-friendly. So I'm now offering a refill system. So these are actually now gonna be about 19 pound to refill once you've already bought the bottles from me. Um, and I refill them and then you, you, you only need to do it like three, three times a year, which is only gonna cost you about, I think there's 19 pound for a refill and then literally it's about 57 pound a year. If we then look at your shampoo and conditioners that you're getting, like let's Tresemme for example. I've heard from people that they use it probably like once a month, they go through those bottles and not even that, sometimes they use them more. For one, it's because it's the consistency, it's, it's runny, it's easy to use, just chuck it on, it doesn't feel like it's doing its job, so chuck some more on, um, and then that's it, it's, it's gone. Now, if you compare that with these, you're, you're saving, when you buy the professional products, now don't get me wrong, not every hairdresser will offer a refill system, but you're still saving a hell of a lot of money. So I'm only here to educate you. I can't tell you what to use on your hair. I can just advise you and just explain, you know, why why there's such a difference in these products. Just have a word with your hairdresser, you know, make sure you say to them, look, I'm really struggling with my shampoo and conditioner. Can you help advise me and then support them? You know, buy it from them. Um, and let's just start using better quality products for our hair and looking after our hair because spending all that money on it doesn't make sense for you to then go and put cheap stuff on it. And ruin it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in next week's video.